Hello friend, today we are going to discuss about nested loop in Java script. Without further delay, let's start. First of all, this is the formal definition of nested loop. A nested loop is nothing but a loop inside a loop. For example, here we have a for loop with the variable x and then we have condition 5 and then we increment okay and inside this for loop we have another for loop with variable y then we have same condition 5 less than equals to 5 then increment then we have one statement after that we have a simple nested loop example for example we have let i equals to 1 then we have i is less than or equals to 5 then we increment i first it uh, initialize variable i equals to 1 then it check the condition and after that it see this uh, for loop okay you can see it have this for loop and this for loop initialize the variable j equals to 1 then check condition and after that it print this value okay like here you can see i equals to 1 you can clearly see first time it is 1 it print 1 and after that it increment j then check condition then print i i is still 1 okay 1 is printed and this is goes till j equals to 5 and after that if j is 6 this loop is terminated this loop is terminated and after that it sees break it uh, come to the next line and after that it increment i to i equals to 1 to 2 then check condition condition is still true, true because 2 is less than 5 then it come to this line again and see j equals to 1 it reinitialize the value of j 5 to 1 again and then check condition then print i 2 then it increment and check condition it again true it is goes till 5 and after that is c, c j equals to 6 and it uh, terminates this loop again and after that we have break it come to the next line and here it increment i equals to 3 then again we re reinitialize j equals to 1 then we check condition then we print 3 and so on till th 5 and after that it again see break and come to here and then it increment the value of i equals to 4 then check condition condition is still true then it print according to with the help of this for loop and after that it uh, come to this line because of this break it come to here and then i equals to 5 which is true which is we can say it is less than or equals to now less than condition is false but equal condition is true then come to here and similarly it print 5 5 time then it break but now i equals to 6 which is not satisfied this condition and this for loop ended here okay now let's see with the help of tabular form okay here we have variable i variable j then output okay i forgot to include break but you can clearly understand from here we have after ending of each ending of j loop you can say we have next line okay if we do not use the break it print here and here you and here okay it is in single line if we want this type of thing then we have to include this break okay okay here i equals to one it initialize j equals to one and print one and then it increment j to two still condition is true print one then three print one then four it print one 
then 5 and print 1. Okay. And after seeing j equals to 6, condition is false. Now we come to this line. This line i equals to 2. Then first it reinitialize j equals to 1 and print the i value. Okay. And then we till 5 it is printing 2. And after that we increment j. Then we have again reinitialize j equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it prints the value of i. And after that we have i equals to 4. Then we reinitialize j from 1 to 5 and print the value of i. Okay. And after that we have end with i equals to 5. Then we reinitialize i from 1 to 5 again and print the value of i. And after that our both loop is terminated. Now let's see how we can do in practical implementation. Now let's see how we can implement nested loop in JavaScript. So first of all, we have to create a for loop for declare a variable let a equals to one. And after that, we use a less than equals to five, then semicolon then a plus plus and after that we provide curly bracket then again we declare a for loop for with the variable let b equals to 1 and after that we use b less than equals to 5 then semicolon then b plus plus and, and after that we use curly bracket and here we use document document dot write then provide i not i a and then semicolon and here we use document document dot write and provide break let's save this and see the output you can see that we discuss in our powerpoint is similar if we use here 0 and 0 here again you can see it will run 6 times and it uh, start from 0 you can clearly see 0 1 2 and you can provide any condition what if we use here just undo and here we use instead of a we use p and let's say you can clearly see which I told you for every value of i1 it this for loop of b is run five times you can see one then two then three then four and five and after that it see break and come here to the next line and after that it increment the value of a and then reinitialize the value of b again okay if i use instead of for loop i use while loop you can see easily for while loop we have to first use let a equals to one and after that we use while a less than condition providing condition five then curly bracket and we use b as a variable where or let let b equals to 1 and after that we use while b is less than equals to 5 and after that we use curly bracket and here we use document dot write <coughs> document dot write a and then semicolon and after that we use document dot write br tag and then semicolon and save okay here is a problem because i didn't increment this condition is true in our loop running infinite time so a plus plus 
I forgot about this statement. Okay. A B sorry. Here we provide B plus plus and here we provide A plus plus and then save again. We have to just stop this and then run again. Okay. You can see how our output is same. Now you can easily understand. First we declare variable A and then we check the condition. And after che checking condition, we declare a variable B. And here we check the condition and print A. Okay. And after that we increment, then it check condition, increment, then check condition, then increment, then check. After 6, it terminate. This loop is terminate. And after that here, you can see it see break and it come to the next line then increment a and here it check the condition it is true then it reinitialize the variable b equals to 1 so that's it for today's video if you like this video please subscribe my channel share with your friend and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye